Hi, this is the weekly horoscope for Taurus for the week of January 22nd, 2024. Hello, my bulls, my fabulous bulls. So lots of energy going on this week. We have Venus on the 23rd moving into the sign of Capricorn. We have the full moon in Leo. Asteria, which is, okay, so I did this wrong for Aries, so I'm sorry. But it symbolizes justice. Okay, the scales and balancing the scale. But it's in the sign of car cancer, so it's in retrograde at this time. So basically, you're very sentimental about the past with this energy here. You could also be rehashing the past with other people in your life at this time um, with this energy, or you're not over past hurts with this energy. So you could also be kind of snappish at other people too during this time period. Or you're just dealing with your emotional tar. Those of you with Neptune in Aquarius, I would be really careful at this time emotionally for you because it's in your 10th house. But emotionally, this may not be the easiest time period for you. So I would be really careful. And those of you with Uranus in Pluto, Uranus conjunct with Pluto at this time. Uranus in Aquarius. So check out Astro Theme to see what you got in Aquarius because you're going to feel the effects of Pluto, who is now at zero degrees. And the sun is also in Aquarius. And then you got Vulcan in your 10th house as well. So this is very much a popular energy time for you as well. I feel for some of you here, you can be going through it emotionally here with this energy so you may not be getting along with those in authority during this time period your ambitions to get ahead is stimulated and you may have a great oh and also i'll be doing a podcast with um i got invited to do a podcast on star lordis channel on the youtube for sunday so be sure to check that out we're gonna be talking astrology and pluto and everything all right so check that out so you may have greater power authority thrust upon you now because saturn is still conjunct with hygeia hygeia forming a kite energy which i talked about on last week's video you may receive an invitation to travel abroad and the conditions are favorable to do so an excellent time to take a vacation business trips tend to be both mixed with business and pleasure legal matters tend to work in your favor travel could be quite dangerous so be careful while traveling um, for some of you here you know if you're going to France and stuff like that or Europe, you may want to be careful because their political system is changing at this time. So they may not be in the best of moods, okay? Um, your dreams can be darker or disturbing. Change is happening on Monday. This is a positive time for changes. A great time to be busy with your life. Hades is conjunct with Coronas for the next 20 years. Um, forming a kite energy as well and it's in retrograde so you can be reconnecting with people from your past I feel for some of you here this could also be people that you had a falling out with and you're not over certain things that they've done to you but for right now for this moment you're allowing bygones to be bygones okay or you're even going back to a place where you used to work at this time with this energy so venus is still just for a little bit of time is in the sign of sagittarius so be careful with romanticizing relationships at this time all righty um selena in taurus in your first house you can feel bubbly happy and optimistic people can be giving you um executive decision when it comes to creative tasks or you could be responsible for creative things like branding at this time or certain projects that are going on at work with this energy this is a beautiful time for thinking outside the box or you bring a different perspective to certain situations and people appreciate your point of view you get to help out a lot of people at this time and people appreciate the help that you give them and even so you so much so as to trusting you with certain things at this time and showing that you are reliable and in showing the you that they really like working with you so you could be receiving a lot of emotional validation during this time period all right let me change the date so then on the 23rd we have venus entering the sign of capricorn in your ninth house venus in capricorn is a detriment plus you have a stellum in capricorn mars is not well aspected at this time so you could be having a few meltdowns you may not be getting along with the men in authority at this time or men can find you very dismissive or they could be challenging you at this time with this energy here there could be some changes happening in regards to work as well with this energy so the chain of command could be changing at this time and you do have a kite energy so this is a beautiful time for taking test exams getting your green card or your visa card 
at this time dealing with any kind of legalities should be going with your, your way this week or dealing with lawyers now Venus is in your ninth house forming a stellum for some of you this could be traveling for work at this time don't expect to derive a lot of pleasure out of traveling so you could find yourself like a lot of traffic happening this week travel may prove more inconvenient and this could be just driving to and from work and it could be just annoying and a hassle okay legal or contractual obligations may prove to be a burden um, a new love relationship may begin at this time and you're likely to be very self-indulgent and gain weight so be careful um, this is a happy period of time for you Venus is also squaring Poseidon with this energy here um, and also squaring um, Neptune at this time as well so don't believe everything that you hear at this time with this energy somebody could be just trying to threaten you for the sake of threatening you this could be self-realizations with people trying to put the wool over your eye or trying to con you out of your money, okay? There could be a lot of scamming going on with this energy, so protect yourself with um, your internet at this time, with your computer. You may be reevaluating a group or a group of people that you're socializing with, and you may realize that that's not your crowd. Venus is opposing Asteria in the third and ninth house. You're reluctant to do certain favors for other people because of past and what past has taught you now you have a lot of planets in retrograde in your third house so you could be dealing with children with learning disabilities so you could be dealing with children with learning disabilities or they could be struggling a little bit more with their emotional self at this time with this energy so children for some of you could be more of the focus at this time as well for some of you it could be difficult working conditions at this time with this energy so you may not be getting along with other people at this time with this energy as well um, don't believe everything you hear you tend to romanticize your relationships you can be gullible traveling abroad may introduce you to feeling of culture shock at this time you may not have much in common with those around you you could be starting a new job this week with this energy as well and there and it could be for like the same type of like career but then when you get there and it's like for the same kind of career that you already do for a living and then when you get there the way they do things is for you would be considered I want to say totally ass backwards okay so it's like you have a way of doing things but it's also a good thing because then you get to put your input on how you would like things to be but that could also be a struggle as well because people may not like your input that you give them this week so you know be careful with that with this energy as well alrighty so you could be dealing with some kind of culture shock at work and they could just run things so much differently from what you are used to that you're going to be like oh my god i don't know what i'm doing you know and it could be them that don't know what they're doing and they're just like kind of like going along with what they think works for them so wait until all the planets move into aquarius because then they'll be more suggestive suggested to like changes and stuff like that okay on the 24th you may have you may make some progressive um progressive um way against your debts at this time so you could be paying off your debts with this energy with as well financial arrangements with others should be on solid ground or people are actually going to pay you back when they say that they're going to pay you back you know so that's a good thing um it is also a good time for publishing and signing legal contracts. Your relationships function with practicality, so you're definitely hiring people to help you achieve certain goals at this time with this energy or doing doctor visits at this time as well. Romantic relationships, there's a tendency of unequal arrangement. There could also be a substantial age difference at this time with this energy here. Um, during this time period if you're going to help anybody is kind of behind the scenes and it's because they really are going through it at this time either than that you don't really help people you may feel like this person isn't going through it at this time so whoever's asking for help you're very reluctant to give help because they could just be wanting to emotionally dump they could be just wanting a lot of attention at work because they're not getting any damn attention and you just and you just know it so you don't want to give them advice or maybe the last time you gave them advice they snapped and cried and da 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 or they could be dealing with the same situation that you told them not to get themselves involved in and then here they are again back involved in the same situation so now you're like i'm out somebody else deal with it you know if you aren't careful you may let your past insecurities and fears get the best of you 
If this happens, you may go lengths to avoid dealing with your own um, your own pain and other people's pain as well. You may also be codependent on others or drawn to a role of healer without taking responsibility for healing your own wounds at this time as well. And some of you really need to be careful with that because again, you got Neptune conjunct with Pluto for some of you. So just be careful with that. Make sure you're good before you go helping out others. On the 25th, the full moon in Leo in your fourth house. So we're dealing with mother and mother side of the family. So there's an increased response lots of overtime um, for some of you here I feel like this could be a quiet time for you with this energy your personal life may become more serious or unfulfilling now you may have to relocate and say goodbye to old friends this could be getting a new job for some of you this could be a move happening obligations where you have to take care of elderly parents could be more of the focus the needs of others outweigh your own at this time so you could find yourself more invested in other people and what they're going through at this time you may have to travel for business purposes but don't expect to derive so much pleasure out of it travel may prove inconvenient or you may not wish to leave your house legal or con contractual obligations could be a burden now there could be an invasion of the home is possible for some so just be aware of that you you may have emotional power struggles with your parents at this time. You may want to move with this energy. For some of you, you may not be getting along with parents. You may be more inclined to be lazy and not get anything done, which is going to ruin your emotional self. So just make sure you try to keep up with your chores because if you don't clean your house, it really messes with a bull's mentality. It really does it messes them up like if you want to see somebody pissed off like let them walk into a hoarder's house like the ones on the a and e and watch a bull go mad they may even start crying because it's like it's gonna bring up all sorts of feelings it's gonna be like oh my god <laughs> if you live with someone this could be a source of tension because you could be losing your crap because they're not cleaning up after themselves it could be driving you mad batty okay so it could be something like that. You can be reevaluating your relationships as well, either with family or this could be reevaluating your relationships with friends. You could be waiting on friends to come through for you. You could also be very impatient with certain people in your life that made promises to you in regards to coming through and they may not be coming through at this time. Um, so for some of you, this could be like them promising you to get a better paying job um, that kind of thing. I feel like for some of you here, you could be conflicted when it comes to certain family, especially mother that lives outside the home. You can be reevaluating the relationship. I feel this week the moon is quincunxing Venus. We are all needing our thank yous at this time and wanting to feel appreciated for what we bring to the table. So we could be reevaluating our relationships with family or the people outside the home and why we do the things that we do for them. I feel like you're not being invited to certain functions at this time. And it could be simple miscommunications. It could be simply that this person knows that you don't like to go to new situations at this time and you don't know anybody. So they could just be protecting you, okay? Or it's something you really don't like to go to and they just don't wanna invite you. But they did have a lot of fun and they did post a lot of pictures and post it on TikTok and all that stuff, you know? So don't take it personally. They were, I feel like they were just protecting protecting you and you're taking it the wrong way and people thought that you didn't want to go so they didn't bother to ask you so don't go reading into things and taking things so seriously and nasty don't go burning your bridges because they didn't take you out for a car ride the sun is conjunct with pluto at this time in your 10th house so we're ready for new we're ready to like blame our problems on other people we're ready to move on from certain situations that we feel like no longer apply to us which they still do apply to us because we still have a stellum and capricorn so we still have to deal with our situations and for a lot of you you could be feeling very restless for change at this time with this energy for some of you you may have to initiate the changes that you don't want to initiate because you're sitting on your hands about it because you got a stellum in your third house that really does not want to you you know invest in change you know how y'all are so you could be feeling really restless and really like your own worst enemy and kind of driving yourself crazy because you need to make the change at this time with this energy sometimes we need to be our own captain save a hoe and we need to save ourselves first before we could go on saving anybody else you know so then 
we have on the 26th, people that are acquaintances on the edge of your life are not to be trusted at this time without good reason. If you're a musician or artist, this could be a very creative time for you, but others may misunderstand what you truly represent or your message is not going to be received the way you want it to be received or it's going to be like whatever message you want it to be received is totally, they're going to take it totally left and you're going to be like, what the hell? That's not what I meant. That's not what it meant. You know, you may feel uncertain about your career direction or others may try to put you in a role that may not fit. For some of you here, you could be very reluctant to go out with other people at this time. You may not wish to socialize here. You could still be a little bit shy or you could be socially awkward. For some of you, you need to make it a point to speak up on things that are bothering you. This could also be missed opportunities coming up because you can be awkward when it comes to having certain conversations with others. Neptune trining Pallas and Scorpio at this time in the 7th and 11th house. You tend to be gravitating to creative types with this energy, of course. For some of you, you can be attracted to somebody online or a friend that you could be um, attractive to because of their personality, because they're artsy, or maybe they dress like very like you know goth or some kind of genre that they're obsessed with or maybe they're a little bit out there um those of you in your 30s you know you like certain themes or certain ways of thinking so you're like very attracted to those kind of particular people like for example hippies emos you know girls that dress like their b-50 bomber women that kind of thing taurus tends to be attracted or gravitates toward that or people who dress like um they're the, like now the new thing is like the mushroom hippies where they put the mushrooms on their heads and stuff like that you know or punk rocker looking people it's more likely to be a scorpio or taurus you want to see and they may have to like a lot of um you guys may have like a lot of common at this time all right people who are advent guard or just you know people who like go to thrift stores and you know and that's their style of fashion is like that you know retro look and stuff like that and like looking like they're from the 70s and stuff you know so it could be things like that or they like looking like their childhood you know because they miss their childhood and they haven't grown up yet because they have a peter pan complex but it's okay we love them too so anyways the nine of swords is the first card i come up with get the hell out of your damn head now those of you with neptune is going to be neptune and aquarius that's a big thing it's going to be conjunct with pluto so you could be going through a real depression and you could be feeling really weird about yourself and going through changes and all that stuff all right so this could be like an emotionally confusing time for you so be careful the king of coins i feel for some of you here you may be missing your partner because your partner may be um away from work or traveling for work at this time and they may be gone for a while with this energy here so you could be missing them with this energy or for some of you they could be in jail and you could be missing them and that may be a while too or they could be in the army and you could be missing them as well and they could be doing training at this time and you could be just missing them the moon card is in reverse Ooh, this is like you being more you are not about romanticizing nothing for some of you you're very analytical in your way of thinking you're very much the realist at this time you're the pessimist in your life with this energy here as well and then the king of coins you're very analytical in your way of thinking with this energy is what's telling me but you're too much based on your reality so it's a really frustrating time for you because you're not delving into faith consciousness you're not delving into the power of prayer because you may not believe in it because a lot of Taurus are atheists they got to touch it feel it in order to believe it at this time so a lot of things that you are not seeing for yourself are not happening at this time so this could feel like a very hard energy for you with this energy if you're like psychic you could be trying to read your yourself and you're seeing all these great things but it's like it's not happening anytime soon bitch <laughs> it's like get it okay one we are not jinns i am not moses i am definitely not jesus okay so this is called astrology this is called horoscopes okay i predict the future i do not like i can't just poop it out and be like oh there we go all right i'm not a golden goose i do not poop golden eggs okay so anyways the queen of coins you benefit through mother at this time with this energy here or you could be moving in with mother at this time for some of you with this energy i feel like this could be 
more money coming into you. For some of you, you could be making friends. Um, for others of you, you could be going out to like concerts and stuff like that. And you could be meeting new people here with this energy. And this could be on Friday that you could be meeting people who are very interesting, very avant-garde, very out there with this energy. You could go to some kind of cosplay convention or something like that or some kind of book signing and you could meet people who are fanning out on the same people. But they may dress, they may dress like the book, for example, and they may dress like their dressing is going to be like, they're going to stand out and it's going to make you want to talk to them. Okay. The full card brings about new beginnings at this time. Whatever you're worrying about, the cards are saying it's more in your head than in your reality. Okay. The 10 of wands taking on more responsibilities or feeling the weight of your responsibilities on your shoulders at this time with this energy and it could be too much for you. So again, try to delve into faith consciousness. Try to let that stuff go. Try to focus on what you can control and not every little itty bitty detail that is around you the what is the little impracticalities the little microchasms of like oh my gosh what happened if the toilet seat is still up i don't know bitch okay the knight of swords i see ultimatums i see more money coming in for you the seven of swords um this is a quiet time for you you can be more quiet and in your head you're way too much in your head you need to be more in your present and working on the things you can control the emperor the emperor i feel with this energy here there's a level of self-control or the focus could be on father at this time with this energy as well you can be more about your sanity here with this energy okay and you could be using this time period to take care of yourself the four of cups yeah i see you in a leadership position here with this energy i feel like you have a great level of self-control maybe you're too much invested in your head at this time and you're overthinking things that are out of your control get a yearly and check it out and see what's happening or a six month report and see what's happening you know there i have regulars okay the fact that i have regulars every year that get reports every year around this time is amazing okay it's really quite amazing and it's like and it's amazing when they say oh my gosh like everything you said comes true and it's like yeah you know so check it out i feel also you could be bored with your routine here and you're restless for change at this time with this energy so manifest it you know ask god ask your spirits to help you get out of your situation change your situation which it will change because you know it's the winter time so not much is going on and there's a stellum in capricorn so you know get the hell out of your damn head delve in your to your creativity go to hobby lobby go to michael's go to joanne fabrics go somewhere okay and paint do those dot things for right now to help with your mental health help with you get out of your reality and stop overthinking about things that are out of your control the ace of swords your perspective and outlook on life is changing you're very analytical in your way of thinking in the words of the great disciple oprah winfrey let your wounds be your wisdom at this time with this energy because you're fighting with people okay so i think that you're bored and that you're picking fights with other people so i would be careful with this i feel like also you're kind of like delving into that pluto um conjunct with the sun and you're a bit of an anarchist <laughs> you're shaking somebody's snow globe and you're pissing them off because i see you like doing things differently at work that work for you but this person could be a stickler for the rules with this energy you're shaking things up at work like hornets like hornets they're coming at you but you don't mind it you love that you love that crap even though it hurts your feelings you still love to like challenge the norm okay and that's what i see you doing here and i see you challenging the norm at this time with this energy okay the um ace of coins recognition and success more money coming to you at this time with this energy a great time for business picking up the chariot card of victory is coming up for you with this energy good news is happening for you all righty so this could be getting a job this could be like your money situation and things happening for your money situation as well because i know with all those damn retrograde planets in cancer and then friday's asteria goes into gemini thank god so then we only have two planets to contend with yay so when we have but you, these are strong planets this is hades and coronas okay um so what's gonna happen here is that you're still about your financial security 
Okay, so this week you could be worried about your financial security, but then come Friday, you could be receiving some kind of reprieve, okay, from your financial security. So this could be business picking up, this could be getting your IRS check, this could be people paying you back. If you're worried about them not paying you back, they could be paying your back, paying you I can't talk, paying you back this week with this energy. So you're going to get your money back. Your, your situation is going to pan out. Plans are going to work just as fine. Okay, if you were dealing with a chargeback, you may get it back on Friday. So when we have two planets in retrograde, right, and then at the end of the month, you know, not considering Uranus is still in retrograde till the 27th, and we have two planets in retrograde, it like lessens the atmosphere of that house, you know, so you could still move around in that house just fine, okay, because I think those two are going to be in retrograde till February, and then Volcanus or Vulcan in Leo is going to be in retrograde till April, all right, the three of cups, you can be having some much needed discussions with friends and family at this time with this energy, I feel like for some of you here, you have a lot of influence over other people at this time, with this energy especially when it comes to friends and family and creating boundaries with them or being open about speaking your mind i feel like you could be celebrating new beginnings with them as well with this energy okay so this could be a positive energy time of getting a job things falling into place you making your money all right i see business partnerships forming new friendships great time for social networking so this could all be happening on friday with this energy because it's an easier energy time because you don't have so many planets in your third house okay um like of communications here all righty just because hades and coronas are there it's fine as long as it's not a stellum you don't got nothing to worry about all right so there could be a lot of communications going on because you do have a stellum in your ninth house at this time with this energy so this could be a very busy time for you with media or social media during this time period okay i see you working hard and playing hard so be careful with your spending the death card does bring about changes coming up for you this week with this energy a purging is happening with the three of coins so whoever whatever has to leave your life let them leave your life the knight of coins the mind on the money and the money on the mind i see more money for you Okay, I feel that, you know, for some of you here, you need to be careful with your giving energy and how much you do for others. And I feel like some of you will be more cautious about that. The Eight of Cups, you're over helping certain people in your life. I do see overindulgence, so as quickly as money comes in, as quickly as it leaves. So be careful when it comes to helping out others for some of you, because you could be getting the giving the shirt off your back and you're going to be broke. Okay, so be careful with this energy, and that's probably why you're going to be worried about money. You're going to be fighting with this person about blaming them for your money problems, which doesn't make sense. So be careful with this. This is a great time to be self-employed with this energy here as well. So you could be very busy with this energy. I see a new job offer coming to you at this time, or somebody could be wanting you to go on their podcast as well. The Seven of Wands, I see certain obstacles may no longer apply in your life as well with this energy. This could also be good news in regards to court or getting what you want in legalities. The Knight of Cups brings about smooth changes, new love coming in, blessings onto the universe. The Two of Coins, burning the candles at both ends of the stick this is a beautiful time for making decisions and delving into certainty for you the strength card your hard work and perseverance is going to pay off and again in the words of the great disciple oprah winfrey you know you are going to be fight there is an emphasis on a fight even though you don't like fighting and even though you don't like confrontations ninth house energy so this is going to happen at work okay so i would stay on the right side of the law too because you have mars in there and you are either going to be accident prone so be careful when driving or you're going to be dealing with legalities during this time period you are going to be fighting for what is right you are you are about justice and what is fair to everybody and what you believe is fair and that's what's going on here Okay, so yeah, so it's not going to be the easiest time when dealing with other people. The hangman card indecisions are coming up at this time. You could be reevaluating your career direction at this time as well because you don't like the way they do things over there. The hierophant card, this is a time of introspection for some of you. Fate is definitely going to intervene 
But this could be the straw that broke the camel's back. And you've had enough of a situation. So you could be leaving a situation. And the eight of coins. I feel like you're a perfectionist when it comes to work. You're a stickler for the rules. And you know what the hell you're talking about. I love you, my bulls. Show your love and support to your girl, Marie. And make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Tomorrow, I'll be on Star Lordis podcast talking astrology. Yes. Kisses. Mwah.